Hey, it's Finny Commit. We're back for another Paleo Tour. I'm here with Kaslin. How you doing today, Kaslin? Doing good. How about you? I'm doing fantastic. Hi, Kaslin. How you doing? I'm doing well. Oh, look at this. I got my gazebo today. <gasps> That's so exciting. That is so exciting. That's a huge accomplishment, too. It is. Yeah. Well, it's bare, but it's here. Hey, it's bare, but it's yours. And that's what matters. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, you're my tour guide. Where we're we going? Okay, well, we'll go outside first while it's dark. Okay. So it'll be a little loopy, but it'll work. I like loopy. Ooh. I like how you kind of separate everything with the trees. And you've made use of these chests as, as walkways, like fencing. That's really cool. I was cool. thinking like, you know how you see those um, like concrete flower beds? Mm hmm That's what I had in mind when I put those there, but I haven't added flowers on top yet. No, it's, that's really cool. That is really cool. Yeah, so if you look around, lighting. you'll see there's deer hiding. Oh, yeah. Our, our trusted derpy deer. Yes. I always so let's get back on the path. Yeah, I always admire the creativity that people have with these chests, and you know, it's it's such a silly thing. It's so simple, but the way that you've implemented it is really cool. You know, it's it's like answers answers the existential question in Palea. What do we do with these chests? Ooh. Yeah, there there's so many. Yeah, there is. There is. So we're coming into my favorite area. Oh, perfect. Um, I, I guess I skipped a little area here. Here's another little seating area. Oh yeah, yeah. I got a I got a good glimpse of this as we're walking by. But I like I like this. You you do lighting very well. This is very very nice. I feel like I could just like sit down Please. and kick my feet up on this chest here and. Yeah. These, I, I think of them as gourds. They look like gourd lots. Oh, yes. They're my favorite. Do you ever look at them and wonder, oh my gourd? If you don't, you yes, do now. Yes, Can't. exactly. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love this. I love this little outdoor area. This is wonderful. So this is, this is where we make marshmallows. So we make s'mores and hot dogs. Oh, and yes. Like if you we haven't hang out. put a marshmallow on a stick and just like host it, you know, held it over a fire, like who are you even? Yeah. This is so cool. Okay, so, so cozy. this is our gaming area. Ooh, nice. So there's there's three games. You tell me what you see. Well, I I recognize one, which is. It looks like, uh, you know, mead pong, if it, as, it, as it were. Yes, uh, that is our uh, sweet leaf tea pong. Nice. This, I don't know. What is this? Is this? Cornhole. Cornhole, nice. Yep. <laughs> and, and this is tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac, oh, cool, nice. Yeah, you can use that with the plates. That's and cool. That, yeah. That is really cool. And I did just now give you editor rights I had forgotten. No, no, that's fine. I, I never ask uh, for them specifically. If people give them to me, that's cool. But yeah, it's never a requirement. And that involves trust. But, I mean, you can't play tic-tac-toe if you don't. It's true. Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> I would lose so hard. Now, here is our game master. Ooh. He is our referee. That's awesome. And then this is the outdoor garden. I have never seen anyone do, like, a garden like this. It's just continual. That's so cool. Most people do, do squares, but the fact that you have yeah. them all in a, in a row, I mean, 
That's so tidy. It's very tidy. The back roll is always tomatoes. The center row is always potatoes. And then the outer roll is whatever I need. That way I've got the boost. That's that's very clever. That's very clever. Let me check out the, all the makeshift items over here. Very nice use of all the greens and the plants. This is cool. Yeah, this is my favorite area on the on the plot. It's everywhere that you've just seen. All of now, your don't seat look in the windows too hard. Oh, don't. Yeah, I'm not not gonna look in the windows too hard. Yeah, don't do that. Ah. Uh... I feel like did they he were... say ribbit? He did. Say, he did say ribbit. He did, he said ribbit and paleon. I don't know what that is, but already I can kind of tell there's more than one favorite area on your plot, which is fantastic. There he is. There's outside and inside favorites. Look at all the potential in here. Yes, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet. Oh, sweet, that's excellent. But the gazebo has been a dream since I first started playing. I couldn't wait to get it. Oh, yeah. This is, yeah, this is totally, totally where you got to go look at the stars. And it's actually angled at the stars, mm -hmm. you know? That's, yes, it that's is. That's very important if you're looking at a telescope. I mean, <laughs> some people I, I've seen okay, have so it pointed at, at the sun, and I'm like, that's not wise. But no, no, you, you don't want to do that. <laughs> So all of this through here is blank, but there is a surprise. Oh, yeah, I know this area was all blocked off. Whoa, what do we got in here? Whoa. I'm gonna get out of the way. No, no, you're you're fine. You are fine. Part of the reason why this we do is these the tours is- Secret Garden for Two. Secret Garden for Two. Ooh, this is fancy. I like how people have, you know, decorated little nooks and stuff like this. That's really cool. Very calm and tranquil. I like how you yes. You plotted out the path with the uh, the candles. I like those candles. Oh look, we've got a chopper floating. We do, yeah. I love, I love seeing what different things it puts in there. <laughs> Absolutely. You're just hanging I, every out. time I open it, I go to look and see what's in there. Okay, so here, we're going to go downward first and then work our way up. But um, don't go past the fence. Okay. Like the gate. Don't go past the gate because you'll scare her. Oh, yes. Yes. I love the baby. I love seeing the baby. Fence works as long as you don't go all the way in front of the gate and then she stays. But once you hit the gate, it's over. I, I really like how people have incorporated that, you know, just little boundaries and such. Like you can't go past this area or you'll scare the baby away. And it's so fun to see. Yeah. And then you got these, so I forgot these guys to show you back there. Oh, yeah. All right, lead the way. Mm -hmm. I'm following you. So back there, my tomatoes. Okay, let's go back to my tomatoes. Okay. I'm, it's unimportant, but it's important. It's important to you, and that's that's important to me. Yes. So once you get to my tomatoes here, you will see that I have th these three deer. Oh, yeah. And they will not leave my tomatoes alone. They're they're constantly trying to eat the tomatoes. <laughs> That's so why we I can't have, have nice things. All of their friends and yes, yeah. those are the only three left that I have to catch. Oh my gosh! Oh, I've already lost and, you. Wait, I think and then you they will go over the here. Back. Yep. Oh, there you are. Sorry. I see you. No, it's fine. I it's it's the nature of the beast so, to get lost. And you got all these are friends. the tomato stealers. Ah. Uh, 
Mm -hmm. Look at these. They're all in cahoots. You can just tell. Mm -hmm. And they're all trying not to make eye yep. contact with you. They've all you. been eating my maters. Mm -hmm. Don't eat the maters. Yep. So then this here is the hunting lodge. Awesome. That was really and nice. I will eventually get targets in here. Yeah, yeah. Lots of things to kind of keep yourself busy, but I like how people have decorated the tents. And, and it's it's something to point out. Like if you're just starting out in Paleo, that's what you start with. You start out with a tent and most people just kind of get rid of them, but you can do so much with the tent. Yeah. I have big plans for this area right here, but it hasn't come to fruition yet. I want to make um, a house out of the fish tanks. Ooh, that's a cool and idea. And make a ice fishing. Ooh. Yeah, ice fishing house. Nice. That's why this is open, because that's what my intentions are. Big plans. That's cool. Yes. Yes. Okay, so let's go. Do you want to start with the center building, the right building, or the left building? It is entirely up to you. You're the professional here. Oh, come on. Just choose one. <laughs> we'll, we'll go to the one right in front of us. The one on the right. Okay. This is my favorite building of the three. Ooh. Well, I guess we picked the right one then. You did. Oh. This is gorgeous. Tell me about this. This is the office... This is the office and the indoor garden. Ooh, you really nail lighting here. And it's so cool. Thank you. I wanted it to be bright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got the wall of clocks. Nice to take inventory. So I think the Thankfully, they all work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think the clocks are cool. They really are. They really are I something to, unique. Yeah. Make sure we got everything. So, yeah, you do what you need to do. Yeah, I'm just like, you know me. This room. like to get all the camera angles. Yeah. This room has been changed so many times. Trying to get all of it to fit in one room. <laughs> So it's very sparsely decorated because of that. And this room here. This is the storage room. I like how people have been doing storage rooms. I really do. It's so fun. Because you just, I don't know. You just, you toss everything in here, hang things up from the walls and, you know, it's such a great way to take inventory, especially if you're not at the asset limit. If you are, it's a little different, yeah. but when you have something like yeah. this set up, it's like, yeah, you know, especially, especially this makes me smile. You know, you gotta toss the holiday decoration mm -hmm. somewhere. I'm a very visual person. So for me, setting it out helps me see where it fits. Yeah. Yeah, I totally get that. I, I'm also a visual person as well. Some people have done uh, second plots that just they're used entirely for storage and it makes sense. I really like your yeah. sight lines. I already said that. I'll say it again. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's I picked this one. Forward. You pick this one. Cool. Yeah. This is the trophy house. Ooh. I like this. I like I like your choice of furniture, layouts, all the decorations. Blue is my favorite color, so there's a lot of blues. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. This window is empty because this is where we watch Kit. 
Oh, that's a cool sight line. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. You can get up there and sit down in the window frame. It's cool. That is really cool. That's a good view. Lots of little things to look at. Lots of really awesome crystals, star stones. The blue crystal lamps. I know I pointed the wrong direction, but the blue crystal lamps that I'm looking at right here. These yeah. are my favorite thing in the game. Aw. They remind me of Himalayan salt lamps in a way. They're kind they of They are very similar. Yeah. Yeah. So you know my tales with the unicorn fish. I'm never gonna catch that thing. Yes, you are. So I believe I'm, in you. No. <laughs> I'm never gonna get the ancient fish. So the rays are my centerpieces because they're my favorites. I they you know the fish in the game are very beautiful. They have lots of lots of little details and everything to look at. This is well done. Well done. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And then into the main building. The main building. Now, y'all know this is kind of where this gets real. Don't forget to like the video, comment what you like so far, and don't forget to follow me for more paleo tours. Let's go check this out. The main building. Ooh, ooh. Check this out. Very, very schnazzy. This is the clean, yeah, clean, formal entrance. I, you know, it was one of the things that I was thinking as I was walking around. I was like, yep, she is definitely in clean core. Mm hmm. I think I am too. Yeah. I don't want to be, but I am. Oh, <laughs> you don't want to be? <laughs> no. I see all these clutter core people, and their stuff is so gorgeous. It's okay. It is okay. But I just can't make myself do it. I know. That's that's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. You're like, oh, it's so gorgeous, but I just can't. I just can't. <laughs> this is so cool. So, this furniture to me is very retro. It is. Yeah. It is retro. So think of this as like a retro pub. I totally dig it. I totally dig it. I love so this. This. Uh huh. If you go back to the table, the kitchen table here, and you walk in slowly, the way the lights are, it kind of makes it look like an old neon bar light. Yeah. Yeah, I can dig that. Isn't that cool? That's really cool. That is really cool. Yeah. Especially kind of how it loads in pieces. So like, that is really cool. Yeah. Almost like it's blinking. Yeah. Oh, sneak in here. And nice. This is so fancy. Why can't we get a capital uh, chic toilet? Like, we have everything else. There, sh there should be a matching know. toilet. There should be. But I can't find one. This is the dance floor. I love the dance floor. I love the dance floor. Did you see my TV? I, I was, I, I saw that. I was like, that's so cool. That's really cool how you yeah. kind of put those together. Yeah, it's a old console TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's the kind you got to get up and turn the knob. Yeah. Smack it around a couple of times. Make sure you get the right channel. Yeah. So we are homeschoolers. That's cool. So this table represents the way our house looks. So we've got our living room and then we have a big table where we do our school. That's awesome. That really is. Yeah. I like how people incorporate those types of elements into their paleo builds. Like... Either mm -hmm. they imitate what they have in real life or they imitate kind of what they wish they had in real life, you know, yeah. like dream kitchen. And that's why and there's stuff. so many bookshelves. I love it. 
We need more books and paint. My living though. room. Yes, we do. Absolutely. And then we have a fish tank in our schoolroom, and my kids love to go outside and catch snails. <laughs> so there's usually a Tupperware bowl of snails on top of the fish tank. So oh my goodness. Yeah. This is the hallway of banners. I, I love how colorful this is. This is so cool. Is this your kid's room? <laughs> it is. Pink oh. for my oldest and purple for my youngest. <laughs> That's adorable. That's so cute. And I put the matching gems for their birthstones on their dressers. Aww. That really is something special. Yeah. And and I wish their rooms looked like this room. <laughs> I know, right? One could dream, especially, you know, with the giant mm -hmm. LED walls with the yeah. cherry blossoms just slowly. Mm-hmm. You know, and give you can it... walk through it. You know, you don't fall. Exactly. Yeah. Give it, you know, give it 15 years. We'll probably get there. Yeah, maybe. This is the Hall of Mirrors. I I just I absolutely love the colors that you chose for your walls. Like it's such Thank a very you. very nice thing. Like I think that you know the dynamic wallpapers are really fun, but when you when you get those colors just right for your accent walls, like mm. Yeah. Somebody whipped out some swatches. I'm just saying. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. This is the jewelry box. Prize, prize possessions. Mm -hmm. I really like this room. This room is very colorful, very vibrant. Yeah, it's it's not me at all. I'm very neutral. Uh, I'm I'm black and brown, and and this is just bright. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Kaslin. I think there's a part of you that that really likes it. There probably is, but I'm most comfortable with neutrals. <laughs> That's cool. I got you. And like this bedroom could totally really be my bedroom. I would absolutely do this oh yeah yeah totally just because it's all blue <laughs> so have we have we covered but everything that's it. yeah yeah that's it well you know what time it is it's q a time <laughs> perfect it's my favorite sweet I dig it. Even with the uh, rusty um, cool sticking out, this is still my favorite. <laughs> I avoided it, you know. It didn't want to get me. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kaslin, you have been a part of the committee and you've recently, you know, this is this is your tour, right? This is fantastic. Mm -hmm. You are 100% clean core. I loved every single bit of this. I have to know. I have to know. If you were to do something that was clutter core, where would you start? Mm, I'd fish more. You'd fish more? Nice. Yeah. So that I could get the chest. I think because there's... Because I see all of the clutter core stuff with that, and I think that is so cool. Yeah, it really is. And it's, it's such a... A design style that has lots of layers to it you know yeah it is really cool we'll do some of the we'll do some of the simple ones how long have you been playing paleo i started the day it came out on switch oh that's awesome you play primarily on the switch and no i did um but i fell in love and so i bought a pc ah oh, that's cool that is really cool i bought a pc specifically because of paleo <laughs> There's nothing to be ashamed of. I, you know, I've I've done some stuff like that too, like buying, buying consoles or, or you know, upgrading stuff just to play certain games. I mean, yeah, yeah, totally. The the more detailed the plot got, the less that the Switch wanted to load it. I bet. Yeah, I bet. So, 
it's yeah. uh you're kind of forced to being clean core on the switch and even you even, are even probably even more practical like you can only do you know what what makes sense yeah what do you think uh what kind of activity do you think is missing from the game like we have fishing foraging hunting what kind of activity do you think we're missing from the game mm, that's a good question huh I think it would be really cool if the underground had a mini game area mm. that was more community oriented. Like that, the tower's cool. cool, but but you know it's one on one, right? And so I think that would be cool if there was more mini games. I really like that. Yeah, yeah. the The tower kind of feels like a an experiment, just to toy with us. Yeah, but. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, you know, something yes, more more things like that I think would be I think would be really cool. I think that would be really cool. Yeah. Oh, and I would absolutely love if we had like a party voice chat. Ooh. That's... I feel like the game is really missing that. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Just native in the game. <laughs> not necessarily yeah. relying on something third party like Discord or something, right? Yeah. 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 That is pretty cool. And like that... a couple of days ago, I've I've warmed up with some people that I have I've never met them, but we were hunting together and we partied up and but you know we still couldn't communicate. So I think that would be, I think that that it's missing that. Yeah, that's a good point. Definitely a good point. Yeah. And we need books and we need small kitchen appliances, and then we'd be set. I'm just gonna sit back in my chair here for a second. What else? What else are we missing, Kathleen? <laughs> All kinds of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Singularity six. We need stuff. We need stuff. Asterisks. Give us all the stuff <laughs> in every color, by the way, in every color. Yes. Oh, that it's missing that too. It definitely needs um, better colors in the modification table. Excellent. Well, Castlin, thank you so much for signing up for a tour, having me come out and see this beautiful plot. Like it, it really is something that you nailed lighting, you nailed all of the different color combinations. Uh, it's definitely a clean core and thank you very much. Thank you. Now I'm going to order my mug. I was just waiting for you to tell me what I was. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, there, there will be a uh, link if you're interested in getting a mug. There'll be a link in the description. Don't forget to like the video and follow me for more paleo tours. Leave a comment specifically. Let me know what you think about this tour. And uh, I'm always uh, open for feedback too. You know, what are some questions that you want me to ask uh, during the tours? And, you know, until next time, I will see you all for the next paleo tour. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.